Hello, this is Archibald Chesterfield the third, international YouTube celebrity, international YouTube star, international luxury goods expert, and tonight I'm joined with the Monger's Monger. The Monger, when you think of a Monger, you think of John Suckerhorn. And I, I gotta tell you, I actually claim that title, the Monger's Monger, but I, I think you deserve it more than me. And uh I don't know about that, Paul. G'day, mate. How are you? Thanks for having us on again. Um, oh, I don't know about that, mate. Um, I know my way around. The mongers, monger. The girls, I know my way around bangers with the girls. So, I, so I want to put that on. I'll wear it, now, mate. I'll wear now, it. Johnny, just before we go on, I just wanted to announce today's topic. Today's topic, I don't know. Have you seen the topic? Do, do, do you know the topic? Asian vipers when Orient love turns bad. Yeah, now I want to share a story with you. Can I share a story, Johnny? Go for it, mate. Go for it. Okay. I had a guy who's actually, I sent you his details. He's keen on coming. He's going to send me a $500 deposit for me and you in September. This is not Mark. This is another guy. Very good. Very good. Very and good. I'd like to share his tale of Oriental love gone bad. Right, eh? Okay. He's a tradie. Oh, very good. Okay, now, now he's not a dumb trader. He's a very clever trader. Listen to this. He's got two houses. He's as cunning as a shit house rat, okay, because he didn't tell me he, he's, he's comfortable, okay? He's 39 years old. Very, yeah. very, com he's comfortable, okay? Yes. And uh, what happened is, let me share the story. He had a friend of his who was with a lovely Vietnamese woman. And she had a sister, so they he was looking for a lady, and uh, he went over to Vietnam quite. He, so they set it up, and they became a couple. And uh, he, whenever because he worked in the mines, whenever he he had R and R, he'd go to Vietnam. Fair enough. Yeah. He's a single man. Yeah. So things get a bit serious. He says, hey, I'll sponsor you over. Sure. He was keen to marry her, okay? Yeah. So yeah. he sponsors her over. Now, this is yeah. the smartest part. He owns two houses, but he decided to rent an apartment in the valley. So she would think he didn't own a house. Very clever. Yes, for the sake of a few hundred bucks a week, yes. Yeah, well, a bit more than a few hundred but Yeah, okay. Right, and he yeah. also, he didn't have a car because he got a work ute. Yep. You know, so like a Hilux. Yep, sure. So sure. she never really knew how much money or how little money he had. Yes, yeah, smart. Yes, yeah, smart so far. Okay, so he brings her over. And what does she do? Wow, she uh, she actually gets a job because they're keen to to bring in money. She gets a job at the sisters, her sisters, uh, her sisters' nail shop. Yeah, yes. You know those acrylic nail type places. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And okay, that's 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 okay. He's keen now. Problems start happening, John. Let's discuss a few problems. Yeah. She decides to send all her money back home. Uh -oh. Now all she's pulling, she's pulling nearly a thousand dollars cash in hand a week. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So she 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 decides to send all that back home, and yes. uh, then he he he's a he's a he's a FIFO fly in fly out. So what happens is that the Vietnamese girl she starts to say, "Hey, I'll stay, I'll stay with the sister," yeah. and because it's easier to commute to the nail salon. Yes. Because yeah. he's working three weeks on, then he has a week off. You understand? Yep, yeah. yeah, certainly. So he's away for three weeks, isn't he? But when he comes back for that week, 
she doesn't really want to see him much. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, then uh, it gets a bit worse because she decides she wants to work seven days a week, not five days. Yeah. So her life is basically in this nail shop. Yes. And she's come out in uh, under what permit? She's just working illegally cash in hand. Right. Okay. So she's a working illegal. You know, she hasn't got a permit to work, has she? No, 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 no. She, she's on a uh, fiancé visa. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? Okay. Yeah. She's working, earning up to a 1000 bucks a week cash in hand. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. And he said to her, hey, I don't mind that you send money back home, but you've got to chip in for some of the bills too. I've got rent to pay. Yeah. She refused to put a cent in. Yep. Yeah. Of course she would, yes, yeah. Okay. Yes. Then something bad happened to the sister. Yes. Okay. Now, he oh here's a story God. for you. So sorry? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. The sister lost her Apple phone. Yeah. The husband, he said, hey, that's okay. If you give me the name and password of your Apple ID, I can reconstruct it and find it. He's smart. He's smart, this lad. Yeah, go on. Yes. So he's done that, found out what information. <laughs> and then he found out that this is not the guy who's, who sponsored the girl. This is the other, the sister, right? Right, right. He found out all these text messages in Vietnamese. So he went to a Vietnamese mate yeah. and found out that, the wife was banging a Vietnamese guy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yes. Well, and that is at work. Well, that is at work. Yeah, in the mines. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, no. That, that 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 was the one. No, no. The, 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 the hubby hasn't. He he didn't marry her. Okay, you understand. This is the oh, sister. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. And then the guy with the two houses. That's the guy I was talking to. Yes. The girl gets less receptive, less friendly. She doesn't want to come back much. It's too far. She normally she would she would when he was there for the week she would come back for that week and stay with him. But she said, "Oh no no, it's too much inconvenience. I'll stay with the sister still. You can come and visit me here." Mm -hmm. Yeah right. And yeah. Uh, he discovered she had a Vietnamese boyfriend as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Now. Yes. This guy signed a, he signed a guarantee that he would pay medical expenses, all sorts of things yeah. for this woman. So what do you do? She won't leave. She won't, yeah. she, she moves out of your house. She won't contribute. She doesn't fuck anymore. She's got a new boyfriend. So he reported it to immigration and they said, that's okay. As long as you report it, it's okay. You're not liable. Yes. Now, the thing is, the quest I've got a few questions for you, Johnny. Anyhow, she eventually went back because she overstayed. She got a, a ban for a number of years because she overstayed. The yeah. question is, would she have been different if she realized he had two or three investment houses? Uh. Would the service delivery have been a little bit different? I'd say it may, she may not have moved over to the sisters, would she? You know, she would have married him and made sure that she would have, uh, you know, got one of them, wouldn't you? Know, like uh, got one of the houses, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you know, uh, she, she's um, she's shot herself in the foot, yes. hasn't she? Really? Yes, she yes, she did. Herself. She did. She did. Yeah. She shot herself in the foot, Johnny. Couldn't have happened to a nicer viper. Yes, yes, it's great when they get caught out like that. So he's, he's rung up in immigration, and what is her visa being cancelled? She on the way back? Is she or no? She's actually he believes she's back in Australia, and she married the Vietnamese guy she was having the affair with. But what a fucking nasty thing! I'm just telling you the story 
that yeah, he paid her away. Yeah. yeah. And she's yeah. found. He's paid her away. He uh, came over the air ticket. There's a the house, you know. Got herself a job you know, with the sister. That would have been on from, you know, since day one. Yeah, you know, the sister would have had a job for her up, up her sleeve before, you know. This oh, yeah, of course. Of course. You know, that, that, would have, you know, that would have been up her sleeve for sure. But he, so, he's wise for the Port of Gil. He's got the fiance's visa. He's a zoom straight into immigration. You know, and, you know, bye bye. There and she went. Very good. Good on him. Good on him. He's got his head screwed on this boat by the sound of it. Yeah. So now he, he actually he said to me he's disillusioned with women. And I said, there's no difference between Thai, Aussie, Vietnamese, Cambodian. They're nasty vipers. They are nasty vipers. What do you think, John? Yes, well, if there's a means You never running. ever let them into a situation of power where even you, you yourself, John, you've you've set procedures in place so you don't get taken a second time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I won't make the same mistake again, that's for sure. You know, like a, What's no that, way. getting caught or handovering two houses and 680,000? I'll never be handing over two houses and 680,000 again. You know, like a might have a chance of getting that, you know, to try it again for a second time, but um, but no, no, it's um, she, she won't be, uh, you know, putting her hands on this. I've got to, um, uh, my legal and financial matters well and truly, uh, you know, attended to, so no partner can clap their hands on my valuables. And uh, Johnny. The Vietnamese viper. What do you think of that story? Is that a is that a nice story? They're so loving. I've had some oh, relationships yeah. with Vietnamese women. They are amazing in the marketing phase. They what are about, amazing. Yeah, what about, about the Thai girls? You know, like uh, you know, they come back to your room or something, and the phone goes off, and it's you know, yada 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 yada. Yeah, who do you think that's that is ringing them up? Yeah, you know, when the phone goes off in the room, the husband, <laughs> eh? The husband? It's the husband of the boyfriend. What time you be home? Oh, I'll be I'll be at the front in twenty minutes. I'm with the bike, will you? Yeah, I'll be at the front in twenty minutes. I say or whatever. Or oh, another hour, or you know, I'm staying, or you know, let the husband know what's happening. You know, like don't you think? You know, you know, like it's not as if they don't have boyfriends either. You know, a lot of Thai working girls on the game, you know, they've got their Thai boyfriends. You know, they, they drive them there to Thai boyfriends. That's what, you know, like they don't mind, you know, because, you know, they're, they're getting the money out of it. You know, you, as soon as they meet the girlfriend, you, give us what you got. Let's take their money. You know. That's what they'll do. But she's very cunning, you know, tried to be a cunning little cookie, but uh, she outsmarted herself, didn't she, and shot herself in the foot. He was yes. wise from the point of view that he, he covered himself uh, with paperwork with the fiancé's visa. But I don't think that's cheap either. I think that's four, five or seven grand, I think, to get a fiancé's visa nowadays. He had a lawyer, an immigration lawyer doing it. He said he spent about 12 grand on her. Yeah, that'd be right. That, that'd be right. That's just to get her here. Yeah. Why is it so expensive? Why have they upped the rates? Maybe is that you know the only reason why I can think they've upped the rates. You know they want, they're trying to use it as a you know deterrent. You know like no, John. The governments the around the world have run out of money. They're doing everything they can to screw the citizens. Well, my wife's not an Australian citizen, and um, I inquired about it the other day. You know she's been here for ten years. You know, for her to become Australian citizen, it's, you know, three and a half thousand dollars or something. You know, she's married to an Australian citizen, her kid's an Australian citizen, you know, but she's got to pay three and a half thousand dollars to be one. But that's just, they've just brought in those fees this year. Because that was free before, wasn't it? They encouraged you to do it. Yeah, there's a fee with it now. Fuck! Yeah, so that's, you know, I suppose it's all you know, taking public servants to <laughs> Now, Now, John, I want to talk about when Oriental love goes bad. Oriental love goes bad. Do you have any 
stories to share here, Johnny. I want to hear about Oriental love, Johnny. Well, Oriental love is a, you know, a great thing with the you know, Thai girls, especially. Like, it's all there as long as the money's flowing. Yeah, you know, and they, they think you're a millionaire. But, you know, when the money runs out, you know, like, uh, it sort of seems to be directly report, proportional to the output of love. You know, like when the money decreases, the output of love decreases too. You know, they, um, you know like they're not so stupid. You know, like um, it's not for free. You know, it's not for free. You know, so, they're not giving so it away. So with Sharkbite, if I'm going to meet up with Sharkbite, I don't need to give her any money, but do I? Uh. She may expect money. She How may expect, expect money from him. You know, like she, she might um, say it in a subtle way, like, uh, you know, Shark Bite's got to drive up from Patea. She might say, oh, you know, like, um, what about some money for some petrol money? You know, which might be a nice way of saying, well, you're paying, you know, how much, you know, pay a few thousand for the night for me to, you know, you know appreciate it. But then it's the other side of the story. If you do offer her money, she may, you know, she, she might really like you or might take offence to that. You know, she might think that you reckon she's a hooker, you know, if you offer her money. She may take offence, unlikely. Don't offer anything. Oh, well, we'll see how you go with that, not offering a Thai girl anything. We'll see how long she lasts. You're not going to get her anything. I don't think she's going to stick around too long if you know, there's nothing forthcoming. You know, that's for <clears> sure. <laughs> Is it that bad, Johnny? No, a dime a dozen. Just go and get yourself another one. You know, just go just walk outside the door and get yourself another one. You know, a prettier, a prettier, nicer looking one next time. You know, you'll always find a prettier one in Thailand. Always. That, that's right, Johnny. Johnny. So, any questions from the boys about this? Yeah, come on, fuckers. fuckers. Pull your fingers out and post some questions, you nasty cunters. A bit quiet tonight, Paul. A bit quiet. Yeah, I don't know what's saying there. It's, uh, John, what about that guy who had that sexy vet, the, the sexy Thai girl in Melbourne? You know, the one who was getting oh, hit up all the Never, never to be seen of again. You know, like, a, she, you know, she, you know, she was fly by night. He wasn't ever seen again. You know, she may have, you know, come over and, you know, taken him for a ride. Oh, pretty and little thing. What about, the, what about the friend of yours? You're telling me the story, this Vietnamese. We, we can't name her name, please, Johnny. Don't mention her name. But yeah. she's the one who was addicted to ice with the, the tradie, yeah. unemployed tradie. How's she going? Oh, I think she's off it now. You know, I think she's going straight for a while. Money's run out. The money's run out, I think. The money's run out of him. He doesn't have any money. Yeah, yeah. He's a decent bloke, or what's he like? Sounds quite a nice, decent bloke on the outside, but you know, it's like everyone. Yeah, you know, you know, behind the, you know, the veil of, uh, of of obscurity and or you know, presentation, everybody's got their little dark side, haven't they? You know, what happens in people's four walls is not necessarily, you know, what happens, you know, outside them. So um, he might have a few little dark secrets. I'm not sure, but he presents all right. Yeah, you know, nice, friendly enough bloke. But um, I don't think I'd let him borrow me watch somehow. I see. You wouldn't let him buy your watch. Yeah, borrow. Yeah, borrow. I oh, I see. I you know, wouldn't let me watch to him. I don't think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And John, I, I wanted to ask you there. Um, he's uh, is he on ice as well? Yeah, I think so. You know, How do you know this? That, well, she's getting it from him, I think. Um, yeah, that's a road to nowhere. You know, you know that's you know, happening in many societies throughout the world at the moment. You know, the increase of ice and methamphetamines. You know, it's it's almost to act. You know, epidemic. You know, um, you know, it's almost an epidemic. You know, with people, you know, younger people and you know, like once they're on that, it's pretty hard to jump off um, the ice, they say. Johnny, um, I wanted to, it's come up again, Johnny. 
could you guys speak about being a male escort for wealthy older wealthy women in bangkok i told you they love that topic now i i've uh, obviously i'm going to confess something to the audience and john knows this already but i i formed a relationship with a wealthy older thai woman 56 years old and uh i was really keen on her when the money was good and I stayed in some very expensive hotels. I did expensive eating, expensive resorts. I had the time of my life, Johnny. And I got to be completely frank and honest with you. When the money, the money's gone, the money's run out now, okay, John? The money's gone. She sort of thought I was her knight in shining armor. Yeah. And uh, I got to be completely honest. The phone calls have died off. Everything's died off. I think she knows oh, I don't have right. any money. The, yeah. the, the, the phone calls have died off. They've died off. It's just. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 It's it's one or two a day now, not the half a dozen I was getting. Oh, so, right. yeah. Right. So I can kind of live with that. Um, money. Look, I think she thought I was going to chip in and uh, she's been very disappointed. So I got to be honest with you. Sometimes you go out there, you find these women. And they're pretending they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to con you as well, Johnny. You know, they they have a certain upper middle class lifestyle, which I certainly could get accustomed to. And then the money ran out, John. What the fuck went wrong? It's just just nasty. And uh now, John, we've spoken about this before. I've I ha I was thinking about going and hawking my ass. I'm actually starting a Archie Luxury ninety day weight loss program when i come back okay so yeah. i'm gonna work but basically what happens is there's some bars in chinatown where the older chinese women hang out you can go there and you can you can try and pick them up is that right johnny to tell me the answer johnny please explain correct correct there's you uh, or chinatown china chinatown is a couple but in Ceylon road too there's some uh sort of exclusive ladies clubs you know, can, where, can a bloke go in then would a bloke even be allowed in um yes i think you can you, you can walk in you know you, you can walk in or you don't have to walk in you get a mull around outside you know couldn't you you know, you know as, as they walk you know walk down the street you know get them before they walk in um into these places but yes yeah, yeah, so your blokes go inside there's bikes in there and uh yeah it's not really what i'd like to do i like to be in charge i don't want some sheila telling me what to do <coughs> well that's the caper isn't it that's you're catering to their needs yes exactly you know they're paying you money you know to do what they what you want yes that's exactly right johnny what's your view on that i think it's pretty well, what's the difference between a, a man doing it to a woman or a woman doing it to a man there's no difference, is there? No. If you want to be judgmental, so, oh, no, that's a bad thing to do. Well, you know, you know, men going and seeing women in Thailand can be argued the same way. But I see that's, you know, not a bad thing. It's not as if, uh, um, it's, it's not as if uh, in many circumstances the girls aren't, you know, they're not forced into it. They haven't got an arm around their back, you know, to go out no. and work. Yes, you know, it, 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 it is a, a choice on their part in most circumstances, and and that and why wouldn't you, if you're a female, you know, you know, go and get a week's pay for two hours work, you know, two thousand baht goes a long way in Thailand if you're a Thai person, you know, it may not as a Westerner, you know, but um, you're not living like the Thais do. Mm. You know, you're like a. Two hours for you know a short time, a couple of hours is you know one two thousand bar. That's the week's pay to you know seventy eighty percent of the population. By the way, Johnny, the Climax Club is in the basement of the Ambassador Hotel. Yeah, well, that's not far. The Ambassador. Well, there, is, that, is that one too? Is there one at the Ambassador nowadays? Mm. Now, Johnny, no, no, no. This is this is just normal hookers. Johnny, oh, yeah, right. I, I wanted to talk to you. I don't think it's a good idea for to really 
suck up older women is just pretty disgraceful thing, Johnny. What do you think? I mean, fuck, do you really want to be controlled by a woman? What the fuck for? For money. That is such a low act. What do you think, Johnny? No woman controls me. No woman controls me. Um, uh, they haven't got enough money. Um, well, you know, once again, what's the difference? Black might be in a circumstance where he hasn't had you know, money to survive. And he needs that sort of money, and it might be, of course, his last resort for it. You know, it's, um, who am I to judge? You know, what, you know two consenting adults do in their own private life. It's none of my business. You know, as long as they're not hurting each other, and, you know, it's behind closed doors, and they're not hurting anyone. Well, you know, where, where's the problem with that, really? You know, I can't see anything wrong with it. You're not going to go all moral on me, eh? You say, oh, it's a bad thing. No, no. Um, Johnny, Johnny, um, now I, I think to be honest with you, Thai dating is just a waste of fucking time. I think the best thing is, is just pay for play scene. What do you think, John? The Thai dating scene? Well, what are they They're all there fucking for? nasty bitches. What are they on there for? It's because they can't get a, you know, they haven't got a boyfriend. You know, they can't get a bloke. Or if they have one, they, you know, they try to, you know, up the ante. You know, uh, we had an example of, you know, this Sheila, she had a bloke on the side before, which you put earlier on in the program. They, they just might be trying to up the ante on, you know, getting himself, you know, a, little, a better little ticket. Yeah. I know what you know, you're saying, John. Look, they'll take advantage if they can, you know, like, you know, why wouldn't they? But um, there's a lot of... Uh, wealthy women in Bangkok too. I read an article the other day about this girl. She was a, she worked for the government, you know. No, she worked for a private company. She was a, a, a secretary to a managing director. You now, so she had a very responsible job. I suppose she was earning quite a, you know, a reasonable amount of money relatively to, to most ties. Well, she didn't want a boyfriend, didn't, didn't want a boyfriend, this lady. She, but she went out every night to these clubs and you know, she was entertained by men and, you know, that's that's where she got her kicks. I can't see anything wrong with that at all. You know, a highly professional woman whose who's time short, you know, she, you know, devoted her time to her career, you know, and if she wants to go out and have a bit of entertainment and she's willing to pay for it. Well, good on her. You know, I, I, I respected her, actually. Sure, sure. I understand, Johnny. It's um very good point. But as for the <coughs> the Thai dating scenes, I, I wouldn't, you know, bother wasting my time personally. It's um it's easy enough to meet them on the street or meet them in bars without going through the you know, the rigors of you know, the questions of ticking the boxes and you know, and I'll meet you at the airport, you know, so they get their hooks into you bright and early. Uh not not my style, you know, but each of their own, each of their own. Jesus, Johnny, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I wouldn't recommend that they, so you haven't had much success with it, have you? Like uh, 47, uh, 47, she wasn't 47 at all. She's turned out to be, what, 56 now. Yeah, but that's okay. okay. What you uh, don't know won't hurt, John. Yeah, what you don't know don't hurt you, but uh, there's a big difference. To, there's a bit of a difference between a 47 year old and uh, what she ticked the wrong box, did she? I think so, John. She must, she must have ticked the wrong box here, yeah, right? The little drop down. Is that yeah, a little drop down box, Johnny. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, well. So, um, and she's all upset now that you haven't come to her aid and assistance. You know, like I was just waiting. Just wait and say, you know, you know, the business has turned bad, you know, you know, to see what your reaction was going to be. The business may not have gone bad at all. You know, she's just given you a try. But that's what I suspect more than anything else. You know, to see, you know, how you're going to you know, run to her assistance. I don't even care, Johnny. You know that? Yeah, well, you're not doing anything. You know, she'll, she'll soon get the hint, you know. How are you going to get rid of her? That's what I want to know. 
Yeah, don't have to. Just 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 leave it there in limbo forever. Oh, it must be great every time she rings up three times a day. Oh. What do you speak about? The weather. It doesn't ring anymore, Johnny. It's over. Oh, good. That's that's the best news I've heard for ages. Throw a number away, will you, before you go over there. Make sure you throw the number away just in case. By the way, I just sold that book. You know that book that's been autographed by a very big YouTube celebrity? That's yes. just sold. I just sold it for $100 to New Zealand. Oh, very good. Very yep. good. Yep. Johnny, um, <coughs> Asian Vipers, right? Yeah. Have you been conned? Have I been conned? I spent, it depends if you call 680,002 houses conned. Yeah, I've been conned. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Yeah, I was conned. Yeah, yeah it, worked, it would have worked out you know, quite an expensive, you know, how many times you've rooted them. Even if you've root, you rooted them, what, you know, twice a day, it still would have worked out, you know, you know, you know at least a thousand dollars to throw over a space for a couple of years. You know, wouldn't it, God? More. Yes, yeah, that's it's, right. It's right. Easy come, easy go. Okay, so right. And it's it's right. This, the terrible right. thing is, you took her out of the bar, and look what happened. Yeah, well, you can't. Yeah, it's very true. You take the girl out of the bar, but you can't take the bar out of the girl, mate. You know, once it's in them, it's in them. You know, like uh, you can always see it too when you take them out and take them to a party, and a little bit of a drink goes in their head. And, you know, and they've got their little mates and their girlfriends around and they get a little bit louder and, you know, and they get a little bit more drunker and then the language comes out. And, you know, invariably one will get drunk enough and she'll be up on the table doing a pole dance and, you know, pour a few more drinks in and off will come and, you know, we're down to the bikinis. We're down to the undies and bra up on the table, mate. You know, like... Johnny, I've just got some things coming in here. Yes. Advice here, they're saying to me... Um, five day trip. Thai dating is a terrible idea. Yep. Go to after two a.m. nightclubs. Archie, you don't. Uh, he goes get uh, get off work, bar girls. Yes, Insanity exactly. nightclub. Mix climax a good after two a.m. Hello. Yep. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So there's some really good advice coming my way there, Johnny. It's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. bar girls that aren't you know that aren't um, you know, on the way to work or finish work. They're the ones to pick. You're not paying the bar fine. You know, that's the way to go. Very clever idea, Johnny. What do you reckon? Well, more chicks are picked up outside of Nana. At one o'clock in the morning, and yeah, the what the what there is while we're at while it's open. So lot, two a.m. You mean two a.m. or one a.m.? Closes at one. Yeah, anything from one onwards. Okay, it closes at one, Nana. Well, you yeah, would. Well, it used to be one o'clock when I was there a couple of years ago. One o'clock, one o'clock uh, past one. It's random. Sometimes the police just come in and say close down now. Yeah, everything gets switched off. Switched off. Yeah, that's 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 what happens in Paris. I think we just lost John Suckerhorn. John Suckerhorn, we've lost him. And this was our story on Asian Vipers when Oriental love turns bad. And we've we've had the delight of having Mr. Suckerhorn live on the program. So uh thank you very much for enjoying this telecast. We're very, very pleased to have uh, provided the content for you. And uh, fuckers, um, please uh, have a great time and uh, keep tuned in to the Archie Luxury Channel. See you later, fuckers. Nasty, cheap vinyl fuckers. <laughs>